hello after a long time. Um, this one is going to, be, going to be really short and it's going to be about uh, select, drag and select. Um, just a simple example. So this one doesn't have any good performance code behind it. So there's no like uh, uh, oct trees or kde trees um, to drive the selection. So you would have to improve that if you had large worlds with multiple or loads of entities. Um, and it also doesn't visualize the selection like the dragon select. So yeah, um, it's all in, all in one file because it's so short and so simple. Um, and let's look at it. So we have main, we add default plugins, startup system. So the setup, this is like basically the boilerplate of every project. Then we have three systems, store, click, drag, construct this um, rectangular selection, and then we can the logic to consume this selection. Um, and I label them drag, selection A, B, selection elements, uh, so that they're all um, executed in the, the order I want. And then we also have this event that is triggered when the drag, this, this drag of a mouse, right, is completed. So we have click drag resource, so the when we press and when we release, so the word coordinates. This is not necessary just for debugging purposes. Uh, then we have the sum selection. This is the rectangular selection, uh, which can be none or uh, sum. <laughs> um, and here's the struct, so the actual type. Okay, the event, the labels, nothing special here. And the component selectable, which will be used on the sprites. So uh, you could query the sprites with the uh, component selectable. And if they are within the rectangular selection, you change the sprite to some of the images. So here are the images, sprite handles, set handle, happy handle. So two different images. And the last component is the main camera. All right, so setup. Again, nothing special, nothing you haven't already seen. We have the commands and the server. This server, asset server, is used to load the sprite handles, as you can see here. Um, then we insert the resources, click drag and some selection. And we also have the spawning of orthographic camera bundle where we also, also designated it as a main camera. And this one is just responsible for spawning the sprites. So a small grid of sprites. We basically <clears throat> need the uh, click drag resource, the sum selection. Um, we need the event, so to, to trigger it when the selection is complete. Um, and we need sprites, mouse, window, and uh, camera. So we need to transform the mouse to from pixel coordinates to the world coordinates. This is done in transform to world. So that's why we need the windows and the main camera. Because in um, transform to world, we get the primary window and we get the cursor from this primary window. And then we do the transformation, which is basically just um, undoing the orthographic um, projection. Base, so the logic of the store click drag, when we press the left mouse button, we resect the possible previous selection and then we store the mouse word coordinates into the first click. And when we release, this is here, we check if the first click is something. And if it is something, we store the mouse coordinates of the release position. And we also trigger the event. Um, this reset selection here. Oh, it's here. Um, it just basically nones everything. Um, and it also resets the sprites on the selectable. Obviously, this 
is not the best way to do it. It should be done with like an event and then another function would take care, or system would take care of this. It's fair to mention that I think reset selection can be removed. Um, this, the, these lines can be removed probably. Um, you just need to reset the sprites. Basically, when, whenever the selection, so whenever we release the left mouse button and the selection is completed, we send this event and in this system we will read the event. Um, and it, all it does is it basically constructs, um, basically sets the rectangular selection resource to the selection A, B, B. And it takes the selection that is created and goes over all of the selectables, checks if they are within this selection and if they are, then we change the sprites to the happy handle. So we need the, some selection, we need the sprite handles resource that we created, and we need the selectables. And here's the function to check if it's within selection, just simple check the point is within the rectangle. Um, also, this could be probably a flat. These sequential systems could probably also not be labeled and set to be run one after another because the consume selection base is basically done only when, um, and this is some, and the construct A, B, which is here, is also triggered only when, I mean, not triggered, it only goes to its, uh, executes its logic when the event is emitted. So yeah, 